Game recognized game. Game recognized game. Either way, though, I believe we are getting into it right now. I don't know how to go back to the game. Devin, help me. I'm scared. Dev Devin got, I'm Devin terrified. Got it. I, I'm Devin handles face. that. See? Excellent. Like, you don't got to worry. <laughs> and we're seeing the sharp joker out here. Yeah, we've seen a sharp joker out here. Just a, just a bunch of top tiers vibing. They're all chilling together. They're all chilling. They're hanging out. And then Peach there. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if any of the Smash characters, like, hang out outside of, like, fighting each other. <laughs> Do you think any of them are, like, chill? Yeah, after yeah, work, you know, after, like, work. after they clock out. Like, you think, like, I don't know, maybe, like, Joker and Ness hang out or something like that? No. That's pretty, that's a pretty good age differential, actually. I don't know. You just, you just named your two characters, like, yeah, they hang oh, out. two characters. I mean, they're all kids. You know? I don't think Wario, Wario's hanging out with anybody on here. You think Pirate Mithra's gonna be seen with Wario in the club? Yeah. Totally. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about this game. <laughs> Wario does Mac, though. You got people crushing on him. Anyway, getting back to PS2 gameplay right here. Uh, the Sharp Joker not really painting out too far, too yeah. much so far. The blue team kind of taking a beating. It's tough, I think, because the red team, like, once you've just played a set and you've discovered your team dynamic, I feel like it's a lot harder to break that unless you're put in a high-pressure situation. So if Ling and DM are coming off a hot wind and they've tightened up their synergy together, it is yeah. really up to Sharp and DM or Sharp and Axiom to disrupt that. And so far, we're not seeing too much of that. That being said, excellent gunshot. But oh. Sharp actually getting taken out by the reverse up. That was so smart by DM. Yeah, and that's so unfortunate if you're Sharp. Because mm -hmm. you definitely don't want to lose that early. Oh, yeah. Axiom. Axiom's patience kind of hurting him a little bit there. Waiting just to see what would D uh, Ling and uh, DM were going to do next. But instead, just eating a big Mithra F smash for his troubles. Yeah. Oh, getting caught by the new speed. And everything just seems to be going right team's way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looking mighty tough right now. It's just Sharp can't really maximize this. Our set still big F smash right there. Yeah. They have to just edge guard DM. I feel like that is going to be their biggest success story here. The thing is, we don't really see Wario go for crazy edge guards too much. We've seen Gluto do stuff with footstools, but I don't feel like there's enough time or resources left in the tank to do that in doubles. Yeah, and the big thing here is like when Sharp gets um, what do you call it, Arsene, it can be built up from like your teammate getting hit, but it can also be lost from your teammate getting yeah. hit. Yeah. And Ax he's not helping Axiom enough, and they're just bullying Axiom That's true. in the situation. Trying to go for big hits like F smashes here, but they are kind of getting cleaned right now. It's just DM and, and uh, Ling are finishing their food. They're just they're just getting stocks off very consistently here. Jo like Sharp Joker's already at 114. Yeah, it's taking some damage. I think this comes back, Reggie, to not playing together. I, f I feel like again, Axiom and DM are, are, are Axiom, oh my God, Axiom and Sharp are playing second beat to each other a lot of the time and are waiting a little too much to find the conversion. Did he just foresight through the waft confirm? That's a good character, man. That's a good character. That's a top tier. That's your S tier. You guys complain about Steve? <laughs> <laughs> the real menace was here. Yeah, people complain about Steve. Yeah, Pirate Mentor have been like in top three of the last like 800 majors. That's kind of nuts. Either way, Ling sitting pretty with the stucker here. Doesn't even have to overcommit right here. And that, uh... That's game one. That's game one. I feel like Axiom got caught being a little too patient a lot of the time. We saw how patient he was in situations where Sharp was getting beaten up. But then DM would be like, I can hit you too. Still, this is a best of five. Sharp, you know, has a lot of time to experiment with what team synergy and what character will work out best for them. I feel like Axiom couldn't do the Wario advantage that he was so desperately coveting yeah. that entire game. And it just sucks. It's toughy. It's a toughie. All right. Got the epic music out. We're out here. What character Wario. will Sharp go? Sure. Wolf. Okay. He, but you heard who else is there? Kazuya. Oh, no. A lot. He, he switched back. Kazuya Mishima. Best of five. Yeah, top four. We Top know, four is best of five. We know, AJ. We we're know. Like, this guy's trying to act like we're new to this. He's the big dog on campus now. AJ's the big dog now. And this is, this is his house. We're in his house right now. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna pay respects. Yeah, yeah, I'm already taking off our shoes. <laughs> I don't know what he's <laughs> Yeah, thanks. I'm not trying to dirty up his carpet. Either way, getting into it, we saw how well Sharp's Wolf did in the swap earlier on. Um, 
Yeah. That being said, they are coming from losers. This yeah. is a best of five, so it's going to be a long, grueling thing. Sharp needs to find the solution to the formula right here. And same with Axiom. They need to learn how to play around each other. I feel like it's also a challenge for Axiom because when your teammate switches their character, you have to play around that new character all of a sudden. Yeah, but this isn't the first time he's won Wolf right. in his bracket. So there already is some idea on like how you want to play. Huge, huge. I don't think it was an F smash right there coming out from Axiom. Not going to take it off, but just, they're just trying to find an edge guard on DM in some way, shape, or form right now. DM clinging on for dear life, though. Not, 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 not bleeding yet. Yeah. But Bling is going to be the first one to fall here. Axiom waiting so patiently on this ledge, knowing that Lingling on the, oh, Ling Ling on the ledge is very scary to deal with. Yeah, yeah Peach in general. But especially Link being one of the top premier peaches. And I like the. Oh, wow. Tried to, yeah. I think, get the best of both worlds right there. But like Hannah Montana, she had to pick one eventually. Yeah. And DM chose death right now. <laughs> 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 Hannah chose Miley. <laughs> Hannah chose Miley. It's true. All right. DM doing a lot better, though. I, I'm liking these switches to Pyro just to opt for the regular upbeat from low because for Wolf and Mario, you're not really going to be seeing a lot of edge guards directly to below the stage. You're just not going to be seeing it. All right. The juggling below. Oof. I don't know if Ling Ling being blue is messing up the blue team at all. I feel like Sharp let Ling skate right by on that yeah. edge guard right there. Like, for a split second, like, oh, wait. <laughs> Here, my friend. Wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Getting poked up by the damp, but uh, yeah, another but DM stock getting dropped early. That's actually huge. That's 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 the best case scenario, I'd say, from that whole scenario. Yeah, especially for blue team. Yeah. And you see, oh, I like the shield, the meter shield right there, but Sharp was definitely oh, aware. God. You saw the wolf, like, reflex coming. Okay, big combo coming out of DM, for, or Axiom. Forced to drop it right there, unfortunately. So the Link finally getting polished off right there. This is looking good. Axiom looking a whole lot better with maintaining their stock. I haven't, like, just stock tanking really hard, letting Sharp take the ground game a lot more scrap. And we're seeing how more patient Sharp is being on the ground, just shielding a lot more. Wolf, Wolf can use stuff like F-Tilt to really, you know, get that space. That was almost really scary, though. All right. Oh, he out. might be dead here, but Link getting knocked down. That's huge. If Link was able to pull a turn up in that instance, that was that was it for Sharp. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, my God. Died. And now you're forced to land against DM right here. Yes, I love the rising fair right there. Oh. And DM is done. That was so good by Sharp right there. Great edge guard. Yeah. Still and though. Yeah, they need to close the stock on a mid percent link. Oh, that's huge. Oh no. Okay. Back air. Yeah. Still though, they're in a really good spot right here. One bad option from Ling, like a roll or something, is just gonna get sniped out by Waff or oh. some other huge option from Wario. Yeah, I like the fall jump, double jump in there. Just to get off the blood trap. Blood's not going to close it out right there, but 110. And this is really hard for Peach. Yeah. One wolf up there, too. You know, that thing is powerful. Still, I love how much, how well Axiom is aware of how much space he needs to respect against Link. He's been fading back every single time Link even threatens something. And yeah. that's just how good Warrior's airspeed is. Not going to take. Yeah. Okay, going to oh, take the stock. Yeah, going to take it. I can agree with that. Yeah, you, two you, is always better than one in this situation. You still want to apply the pressure. You can get clutched up on Ling Ling, but for two people to get clutched up on Ling Ling, especially a fresh wolf stock where you can just do that, I like that a lot. Really, really well played by Sharp and Axiom right there. You're good, but I'm better. Okay, Wolf. Ooh, you're, you're good, but, but I'm, I'm carried. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real villain right there. Wolf really, he's got an eye patch. I don't know how he lost that eye, bro. I don't know how evil evil Wolf is. Like if he's just like Disney cartoon villain, even or I evil, or if he's like I don't play Star Fox. I mean, some Disney like uh, the dude from Tarzan. Like he literally just wanted to shoot Tarzan. Yeah. He had a shotgun and everything. He had the double barrel ready to go. And then you have like I, I didn't uh, like this guy. <laughs> I take him out. There's like some Disney villains that aren't like that bad. Uh, they're all pretty bad when you. They're all bad, but like when you like think about it. They don't want to kill people, man. <laughs> Some of them do. They're all they're all attempted murder. <laughs> I don't want to be in like the Snow White times, like that, that like medieval. You oh. just die of random diseases, and you have some witch trying to poison you with an apple. He'll eat this apple core real quick. Shit. Either way, we got the Aegis coming Aegis out. Aegis on Aegis action. Aegis on Aegis action. I didn't know Sharp had an Aegis, but you know what? I wouldn't uh, be surprised. We did play the, them in doubles. 
This could go well. And you know what? Sharp constantly shaking up the, the formula here is, is good. If you have a... If, I think Aegis does fantastic against Peach. You can really start clipping Peach out of her airspace, giving that lingering there, as well as how fast you can whiff punish with her as well. It's just going to be which Aegis is able to not get edge guarded more. Yeah, it's basically who's playing better at the yeah. moment. Because you have, you have a very similar archetype amongst Peach and Wario. They both kind of want the same thing a little bit. Yeah. Peach wants to get her startup hit, but also just wants to keep floating away and not get hit. Wario wants to use this aerial drift to really bait you in. Leg so, is broken. Leg is also broken. This is the second stitch. Ooh, this is good. Okay, though. Axiom taking a bite out of crime right there. Ooh, not going to get it, though. All right, caught the high. Ooh, okay. Sharp getting caught up in the air right there. The best place you want to be, I feel like, is grounded against Aegis when you have run the ledge. A lot of Aegis players will try to reversal you a lot. Oh, almost lost the stock super early. And kind of just, you know, calm before the storm right here. Both Aegis is off the of stock. Also, both floaties. Uh, not, Mario's not really floaty, but both, both, both floaty-er characters are a little bit higher up in percent. And is he not floaty? finding that back air. I don't think he's a floaty. He's got fast airspeed, and he can land pretty fast. Faster than Peach can. True, true. All right. Sharp trying to... I don't know what Sharp was trying to do there. I love that he kept his jump, though, to make it back with that side beat, not letting Ling Ling get that edge guard off. Yeah. And good job just being aware of the situation. And, and Wario glowing yellow. That means his IBS is acting up, and he's got to go. Yeah. I mean, I mean, whenever, you know, we haven't really seen Axiom pull the trigger too much on these WAFs just yeah. because Wario does need confirms into them. That being said, I feel like they can force a ledge trapping situation and just let him rip it. You know, why not? You're, 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 you know, your teammate's down a couple stocks right there. It won't get you killed, typically. Wario still has escape options out of it as well. He can yeah. keep his jump from it. Still also beat. has three stocks. Yeah. Okay. Not anymore, but, yeah, the you know. Team combo worked out. Huge damage. DM actually in a really bad spot right now. Yeah, oh, but. my God. Sharp has got to be really careful with these overextensions just because if he even gets straight hit one time, he's toast. Yeah. It's just not looking nice. All right, though. Ling still doing their damnedest to try to maximize this damage. And it's doing, it's paying dividends. I feel like the Aegis battle is not panning out well in Sharp and Axiom's favor right now. As you say said, that, though, yeah. There's a quick stock right there. It's just going to take DM out. Axiom's just running. Nah, Axiom's just trying to live. And Axiom's I like that. Axiom's picking his spots where he's trying to actually go for the hit. He knows Wario is stubbier than a lot of the characters on screen. A lot of them can either bait him out or disjoint him. Or out, out hit, disjoint him a lot of the time. So the fact that Axiom is just playing around this range so skillfully, it's it's helping Blue Team stay in the fray for just a yes. little bit longer. All right. Can Sharp manage to close this out before he can lose the stock? No, he cannot. And the restock there. If there's any time to just use that waft, it's now. I feel like. Yeah. I, I feel like I feel like Axiom just needs to let it rip in the situation somewhere. He's he is at 96, but there's, I don't think there's a conceivable way the the red team can really punish Axiom if he does it. Yeah. He's against the land. Still though, really really good situation right now here. Sharp on a fresh stock right here. Ling Ling actually on Death Door right here. One yeah. Wario F tilt. One. Pyra attack. Yeah, and this is looking so good for blue team. Like, Wario oh, yeah. just has better livability than Peach, mm -hmm. just being the heavier character innately. Yeah. Also, with just so much kill power at, at, on hand. Still, though, Sharp not getting back to stage safely. Finally manages to make it out of the danger zone. Yeah, about all that percent. And Axiom ending Ling Ling stock right there. And this should be a done deal if they can just get some sort of straight conversion into Axiom right here. As long as Axiom doesn't get F smashed or something like that, Randy, I could totally see DM going for something like that. Okay. The DM up B. Wow, you just can't punish DM when he's doing that. No. Can't oh, punish. this is huge. And yeah, that's the big part. Still not going to sweet spot him, I think, or just not high enough percent, just yeah. given that it is doubles and you do have less knockback. Also sending a cross green. All right. Oh, this is huge, yeah. though. No jump left. Excellent two frame right there into the forward air. Not going to do it just yet, but there's no options left for DM to use to get himself back to stage. It's best of five also. Oh, uh, Ling did it. Ling no. was ready. He was like, all right, good games. It's like you good guys. Games. You got I don't it. think he was even tight. He was just like, all right, good games. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is best of five? My bad, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, doubles is going to best of five. I think we'll finish by four, luckily. 
Hopefully. I think so. I'm a believer. And I saw her face. Now I'm, I'm a believer. A believer. We we're talking the other day about how much of a cinematic masterpiece Shrek 2 is. I know that yeah. song isn't in Shrek 2. It's in Shrek 1, right? That song's in Shrek 1, yeah. It's at the end of Shrek 1 where yeah. Shrek and Fiona are together and they're having the big swamp party. So great how both of those movies are good. Yeah, for real. I like everyone memes about Shrek and stuff like that, but like it has a good story. Yeah, th those are two good movies back to back. It, it integrates the fairy tale characters really, really well. The world building's good. The and writing then Shrek, is great. Shrek three and four happens. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it it be like that. It do be like that. Also, if you haven't played Shrek two on the GameCube, definitely try it out. It's a fantastic game. Get back into it though. Nido, Sharp, and Axiom XL looking very, very good going up into this last game. Sharp staying on this Aegis. And I think the X Factor there. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. What's going on here? Are we, are we at the circus? Uh, I think. I you think got your popcorn? Christ it's Christmas. Yo, just popcorn outside. <laughs> it's, o <laughs> it's over. It's for over. Me. It's over. For me. <laughs> You already know I'm going to buy like three boxes. Either way, though, that's a criminally early stock to be thrown away from the blue team early on. You know, Axiom was doing such a good job of living last time, and Sharp even found their stride as the game went on. But with a stock going down that early, especially as Pyra Mithra, that's not going to be good. All it takes is one edge guard, literally. True, true, true. And I just... It's going to take basically Sharp just holding on to yeah, the stock. he needs to for dear life. Still trying to get this kill on DM. I love that conversion right there by Sharp. I thought he was going to up air. But the up covering all that in that hit stun perfectly. Yeah. Kept him guessing. That would have defended uh, Sharp on the way down too because there was no way uh, Link was going to be able to disrupt that. Yeah. That was so smart. Ooh, okay, uh -oh. big stray back here. You don't want to be getting caught by those that have hit stun as, again, both Sharp and Axiom are looking pretty bad on their death store. Ling doing a really good job of just kind of weaving in and out of the chaos. I feel like Ling is yeah. in the no man's land of hitboxes right now and is trying to find the way out against these two angry anime swords women. Like, but Link, Link is definitely, <laughs> <laughs> definitely one of the like, best people to play tag with because yeah, he, he cannot touch he him. He can't touch him. I feel like he's one of the worst people to play tag with. I get pissed off. Because <laughs> you're always in. I don't if know I'm the tagger, I'm going to be tight. All right, though. They just need to polish off this DM stock right there to even things up or just keep things in perspective for them. Either, also for, for Ling and DM, that's the opposite again. We're seeing a lot of the same dynamic where the Aegis players are scrapping a lot more. They have the worst disadvantage, so they're going to hit a lot more. And uh, it's, it's really up to both Ling and Axiom to, to tank these stocks. Oh, it definitely is. Oh. I'm just Another getting, one, too. Yeah. Trap not decking, not hitting these safe swings. Yeah, needs a bit more Kazuya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the really good maneuverability somehow blowing right past uh, Ling right there, and opening up DM for a lot of damage right here. Trap managing this movement really well. Axiom is all the way on the other side of the stage, though. He's going to have to get into the fray a little bit more if he wants to help out. Oh. That's huge. Not yeah. going to be a stock yet, but look at the positioning right here for Sharp. There's no double jump. I don't think DM is going to be able to make it back. Huge conversion right there. Yeah, by the and blue now team. they have the lead, and this is what they needed. Oh, yeah, for real. Oh, no. Okay, just a Ain't no love in this game, Peach. Put the tennis racket away. <laughs> she was trying to bat. <laughs> <laughs> DM trying to make the most of this right here. This is still very within the realm of doability right here. If they can just get Axiom or Sharp out of here. Like, Sharp is looking a little bit worse for where it tries to do go for the up smash. Not going to hit. Axiom needs to save Sharp. But Sharp is going to save himself. That was yeah, huge. No, no help needed. Oh, Ling is just whiffing. Ling is whiffing these potential kill moves right here still. Great counter hit right there. I definitely agree with the restock. Sharp is going to have to help out Axiom right here, though. Yeah. Very, very bad position for Axiom right here. That was... But the reversal of the so situation. So smart. So smart. Because he stayed out of harm's way. You know, he, he realized how powerful oh. Ling is. Still, the extended hitbox. Going to actually be getting yeah. Axiom taken out right yeah, there. Yeah, just end up killing his own partner. Now Sharp can't really rely on going for anything like dare into up air, or, or is gonna have to either retreat after the up air. There's a second oh, half but, to offer these but straight now hits. It's open. Now it's open, back on the table. Really just good management by Sharp right there. If that spot dodge is a second later. Yeah. Nice, okay. 
and that's going to be And Sharp going to be taking it really, really clutch right there. I got to say, though, the Superstar is kind of both of them in that situation. But Axiom living there. So, so crucial. Yeah, it, it created such an opening yeah. for Sharp to play his game. Got the reversal. Didn't let Lingling Ling ledge trap. Because Lingling's Ling's already hard enough to get in on yeah. once he's there. Like, once Lingling Ling is locked down in the zone, you are not really going to move him from that zone very easily unless you have a good disjoint. And Axiom gave more than enough time for Sharp to realize, hey, my teammate's in trouble. I got to go help them. Yeah. And that's what happened. And then the 2v1 comeback from Sharp. Such a great job. So now, guarantee top. Three you now. said ready, Cam. I'm sorry. I know. I just like drink water. What's wrong with that? Oh, my God. You're What's mess? wrong with being a hydration homie, Devin? No. Shouts to all my hydration homies in the chat. No, he, he was wrong in this. He knows what he, 